Seven or eight thousand years ago, our early humans moved into agriculture and that allowed them to build cities and we've been moving more and more into cities ever since. And for the most part, those cities are catastrophes. What we're aspiring to do is to try to convince the entire world to move in a dramatically different direction. The foundation is a philanthropy that's been in the Northwest for about 60 years. About four or five years ago, they decided to really look at areas where human interaction impacted regional ecosystem. The real mission of the Bullet Center is to build the most advanced uh, green building that we can. The Bullet Center is pursuing the living building challenge. We have to operate the building for a continuous 12-month period and demonstrate using utility bills and meter readings that the building truly is operating at net zero energy. The intent was to see what we could do that was reasonably economic that could pursue all of the different green goals that are attached to buildings simultaneously. We've done basically everything that we can think of to do to make it a better building. The building sits on top of 26 wells, and the free thermal energy that's down there in the earth gets transferred into the liquid in those pipes. And we use that fluid to heat the concrete of the building to provide warm floors and warm walls. So these four red pumps are really the, the engine, you could say, the motor behind the ground source heat exchange system. To power that equipment, we go to the roof. We use this giant solar array, and that will produce about 230,000 kilowatt hours of on-site energy a year. Today, we've already generated about twice as much electricity as we've used as a building on a pretty cloudy morning here in Seattle. All the water that the building uses comes from rainwater capture on site. The windows, they'll cool down the space. Once the thermostat has realized that the space is cool, they'll just close the windows back up automatically. This is the first building like this that has ever been built in the world. And as a consequence, it costs a bit more. We think it's about 22 or 23 percent more than a standard building is put up today in the United States. That's a premium in a marketplace that has all sorts of false price signals in it. And if you include all of the externalities, the true environmental costs that are borne by society and other buildings, then this one makes perfect economic sense. I think in any rational world, this is the future of architecture. It'll vary from city to city. You build a very different building in Minneapolis than you build in Palm Springs. If this building is still a standalone or kind of a unique project in five years, we would have missed the mission entirely. 